uh, institutions in the financial sector that are designed to serve the public good, the kind of next generation development banks, the green investment banks, the, 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 organize, the Clean Energy Finance Corporation in Australia. These are, are steps in the right direction. I just like to go further and provide a very direct incentive to, the deliver, to deliver the public good through enterprise. Climate change, resource depletion, conflicts over access to energy and other vital resources like water all seem to demand some kind of response from the state. We look to the state in order to protect our interests in those public goods. That's a legitimate form of, of expression of power in our interests and yet in some senses we've lost confidence in the state alone to deliver and much power has been transferred to the private sector and more broadly to civil society to, to provide some sort of guarantee that those public goods will be looked after. Now we know that we're not succeeding against very demanding challenges in those areas so we've got to do some rethinking. Now my sense is that the multilateral process has to be persevered with but it's insufficient in order to protect those public goods and we need to be more imaginative about how we organize cooperative action because that is necessary, how we incentivize investment to deliver public goods. So I'm interested in how we might remake the multilateral system to engage more of the private sector but also to ensure that the public good is protected and that we take advantage of the tremendous advance we've made in communication technologies to better engage, to better facilitate participation in problem solving by those that are not the state, including the individual citizen. So, I'm interested in whether we can find those values that we wish to see in the state in other forms of international cooperation, not solely dependent upon interstate action, and where what I've described as public goods enterprises could emerge, would have the same sort of transformative effect that the Joint Stock Limited Liability Company did in the 18th and 19th century in the Netherlands and in the UK, which really enabled global trade to take off and expand and enabled many, many participants to absorb and distribute risk, which ultimately was in the public good. There was private gain involved, but the public good of a, of a, of a richer, more successful economy followed. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that connection between the protection of global, global public goods, the role of the state, critical but, but not sufficient, and the possibility that we might create new structures to encourage public goods to be protected and nurtured, but with the active engagement uh, of, of enterprise. My sense is that all over the world there are experiments happening in this direction already. And my suggestions are not so radical as to break with a, with a long-lasting tradition or to be out of sync with the moment. You can see it in, in, in Britain with the experimentation with social bonds and the idea of a big society. F flawed though it is in some respects, you, there, are, there are signs there of, of this ethic I'm looking for. You see it in America with the B Corporation emerging, which is somewhere sitting between a not-for-profit enterprise and a for-profit enterprise. What kind of time frame are you thinking of? Now is good. <laughs> I like the idea. I think we've got, we've got everything that we need in the moment to grasp it. I think I would like to see governments actually compete with each other to attract the talent that we need to deal with these complex, highly distributed problems. So we, we know governments compete to attract investment. Uh, we know they, they, they compete to attract uh, tourism, to, to, to you know, come and visit our country, come and build your business here. We hand out public money to do those things. Why don't we do it to attract really talented problem solvers? Why don't, we, why don't we say, come here, start your enterprise? You may actually perform your enterprise anywhere in the world, but we'd like your talent in our jurisdiction, please. We'd like those sorts of people in our society. We'd like those sorts of people contributing to our culture. So I think any country that can set the conditions up that favour public goods enterprises emerging around 
serious local as well as global problems will attract very able people, just the kind of person you'd like to have in your culture and society.